Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we'll be looking at this problem called Allocate Books on Interview Bit. And so let's take a look at the problem. So we are given n number of books, and the ith book has pi number of pages. We have to allocate books to m number of students so that the maximum number of pages allotted to a student is minimum. A book will be allotted to exactly one student. Each student has to be allocated at least one book. Allotments should be in contiguous order. For example, a student cannot be allocated book one and book three, skipping book two. We have a note, return negative one, if a valid assignment is not possible. So here's our input, list of books, and number of students, and our function should return an integer corresponding to the minimum number. All right, so we look at the example 12, 34, 67, 90. These are different books and the pages for each of those books. And then we could we have two students. So basically we have to divide this array into two parts. And then the maximum of the two parts, that is, we want to minimize that. Okay, fair enough. Let's take a look at this. Take this input down there. So what we can do for this problem is we can sum the total of pages. We sum all the books to get a total number. So let's say the sum of the books is 100. And then what we do after that is we binary search 100. And so the, we start from the middle with binary search, so we have 50. And then we check, well, we check if possible to arrange books with M students for 50. And for 50, what it means is the maximum, well, 50 means that all students have pages 50 or less. And if it's true, then we cache this result and search left. So if it's not possible, the other case, we search right. So an example would be if we look at 50 and then we check if it's possible, let's say m equals, using a slightly different example, but let's say m equals 3. Okay, I guess since I chose 100, we could do because that page is equal to 20. 10, 20, that's 30, 25, so 45, 55, 45, yeah? 70, yep, okay. So if we do 50, and we say we have three students, <coughs> and then, yeah, so 50, say 2. We see that it's not possible then we search right because we want the if we binary search and we're on 50 and it's not possible with M students to have a minimum of 50 then we have to increase the number of pages that each student can hold so that's why we have search right and one case before we binary search is if the 
number of books. So length of P is greater than M. We return negative one because it's not possible to have it's not possible to have uh, each student needs to have at least one book so if you have less books than students you would not be able to solve this problem and so now we can think about the if possible function and so the if possible function To check if something is possible, what we can do is, let's say I'm checking if each of the students can have less than 50, I would iterate through each of the pages. So I would have like cur sum for the current student. So it'd be 10 and 10 is less than 50. Then I add another one. Okay, 30 less than 50. Then if I add 25, now I see that this is not actually, this doesn't fit for this student. And currently I just have one student. And because this is greater than 50, then I'll add that to the next student. So I'll include 25 and I'll make M equal to two for students. So the first student has book 10 and 20. And the second student has 25. And then if I add 45, that doesn't work. So I have to have another student for that. And so in this case, we see that it will return false because I can't have three students when my m equals two. But searching in this linear fashion is basically how we'll implement is possible. And so looking at the overall runtime is we do binary search which takes uh, log O of log N, where N is, is total number of pages. And then we check is possible for each, uh, each book. So length of P equals M. So in the end, we have O of M times log n for runtime. The space complexity is constant because we are not storing anything. All right, so let's code this up. So we don't really need this. First thing is to check length of A greater than B, turn negative one. Now we need the sum of total pages. We'll add it together, so now we have the total pages. Start equals zero, end equals total pages. While start less than equal to end, we'll calculate the mid. The mid is possible. So what else do we need to calculate the mid? We need to know how many students we need all the books and we need to know how many students there are. Yeah. So we also want to cache the minimum or result. Initially, we'll just set equal to infinite. And anytime you find that something is possible, then you say result equals min of result and mid. And then we search the left. So we search the left and end equals mid minus one. So the other case is it's not possible with the current value. 
so then we will have to search the right so start equals mid plus one turn result at the end so now we have to implement is possible To iterate through each of the elements. So we have a cur sum, and then we have students. Initially, we have one student with one cur sum. So if the if the cur number is greater than our minimum, then we return false because it means that one student. We'll have a book that exceeds our minimum, so it's not possible for any division to be, it's not possible for all the divisions to be less than the value because one student already has to have a value greater than the minimum. So in that case, we return false. Another case we have is if we add it to the curve sum, it's greater than value, then we need to increment student. And then the cur sum equals the value or the current book because it needs to be given to another student. And then we have a case where if student is greater than B, return false because it means the current division is only possible if we have more students than we are given. Other cases, we keep the students the same and we just increment curve sum by adding i. If we're able to continue this process for all of the books, then we will be able to achieve the minimum. So let's go through and make sure this looks good. Books A. Take the example. So we get the total pages. Length of A is 4, and 4 is greater than 2, so we don't return negative 1. And then we get the initialized total pages, and then we iterate through each of the elements, each of the pages, each of the books in A where i is the number of pages. So what's this? 46, 46, 111, 201, 201 pages. Let's see if that's correct. 34 plus, and this guy. 203, All right, my bad, uh, 203. Yeah, yeah, because that's 11, 13, 23, 113, 203. Yeah, okay, so it's 203. And then, yeah, so we have total pages equals uh, it's 203. And then star equals 0, end equals 203. And then we do mid, so 203 divided by 2, go down to 101, and then we call is possible on 101. So now we're inside is possible. And then cur sum equals zero, students equals one. So first i I get equals 12. So then 12 is not greater than the value, which is 101. So 
So then I continue. But if it were, then we get false, which makes sense. And then i plus cursum is not greater than the value. So go to the else case, which is just add that to cursum. So now we have 12. And then we'll move on to the next number, which is 34. So on 34, it's not greater than the value. And then curse on 34 plus i, which is 46. That's also not greater than the value, so we get 46 here. Next number is 67. And then we see 67 is not greater than the value, but then when we add 67 to 46, it's greater than... Yeah, it's greater than 101, coming out to 103. So that means we have this case, and then we increment students. And then we have cursum equal to the current number, which is 67. And then students is 2. And it's not greater, so we can continue. But the next one, we will get false. So it means that if we have one student with 12 and 34, then 67 and 90 won't work, which is false. So that makes sense. Yeah, and then once we see if possible fails, then we go to the else case where we make mid, uh, we make start equals to mid plus one. So we make start 102. So let's see if we're going into the right direction because the solution is 113, so when we do 102, we're actually moving towards it. So that looks, binary search looks good to me. Let's try running a test now. Okay, so it looks like turn negative one for this. Let me see if I have the sign correct. Length of A, number of books more than students. Right, right, it's supposed to be less than students. Students, so make sure. Let me make sure it's a cursor equals zero, students equals one for i and a, i greater than value. But yeah, we have value, cursor i, value, student. Okay, here we go again. Gotta use the plural. Cursor total pages, i total pages, start, end. Let's try. Okay, so we get some slow. So I think you have to always make it into an int. Now it seems correct, but let me try some custom input or just an int. <laughs> Yeah, so that one is okay. So great, it looks like the submission worked, and we talked about the runtime and the space complexity. So thank you everyone for sticking around to the end. I hope you all learned something, and this could be helpful for you in the future. Please leave any comments on any cool problems you want me to try, anything you want to see on the channel, or any feedback. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.